This tutorial is going to show you how to create tables and charts using pages and numbers. First, open up numbers, press on the plus symbol on the top left, and then create a new spreadsheet. Uh, then you can select the blank template, which is on the top left also. Once it loads up, you'll see that you have a plain blank table uh, with the different cells, the same as you would in Excel or any other program. You can select a complete column or row by selecting on the bar on the top. This will also allow you to expand the, the row and resize it. Um, and you can also select on the top to delete the entire row just to trim it down uh, to the size that you need. Uh, this will also work for the rows as well. So you can see here I'm selecting multiple rows um, and then I can delete the row um, and then I can resize it. So this is going to be our title row, um, sorry, title column. So I need to make it a bit bigger. Um, and then I'm going to name this first one the countries. And then I can name the other columns as well. So I'm going to have it the years and then 2001, 2002, 2003, and 2004. Uh, and then just for this tutorial, I'll just write in uh, different countries. So country one, country two, country three, country four, uh, etc., just so we can have some data. I'm then going to add in a new column. So I click on the top, insert a new column, um, and then I'm going to name this one averages, um, and we'll do some formulas to calculate the average. So we're going to double tap on the cell, and then we'll press on the equals button on the left there, uh, and then we'll press on the functions button and select average. So we'll put in our formula, and then we can select the range that we would like to uh, use to calculate the average. So here I'm dragging it across uh, all of those different columns. Now once we have a formula in one cell, we can copy that cell, move down to the one below, and paste, and then paste formulas. And this will copy the formula across uh, to the rows below, um, and it will use that same range, but for the row below. Now I'm going to repeat the same thing, but I'm going to create a new row, um, but this time I'm going to create a totals row. So for this, we again click on the left hand side and insert a new row. Uh, we're going to name this one totals. And then we are going to double tap on that cell, press the equals on the left hand side, go to functions on the right, and collect, uh, tick on sum. Uh, and now we'll select the column as the range this time. And that will give us the sum of all the country's populations for 2001. Again, uh, we can click on it and paste the formula into the rows um, across, sorry, the columns across. Um, and this will give us the sum totals for each of the years. Now that we have um, a completed table, so we have our averages, we have our totals, we can um, start to look at creating some charts or some graphs. So I'm going to select the totals row and I'll click on the create uh, a chart on the right hand side and then I'll select a nice line graph and you'll see that, that generates nice and quickly and I'll do again this column the averages and this time I'll select a pie graph on the right hand side and this will give me a nice pie graph. Finally, we're going to select the whole table, uh, not include the averages, uh, and then I'm going to select a stacked uh, bar graph so I can see the different countries with the years. So you can see here now I have my graph and I can resize it by dragging it and I can move it around. If I don't like my legend there, I can squish it up by dragging it and tapping on it. And if I tap and hold, I can drag it to the right hand side just to make the layout a bit nicer. Then I'll double tap on my title. Uh, I need to make sure that my chart has a nice title which represents the data which is being shown. Uh, just gives better understanding of what we're doing here. So it's going to be the country population uh, between the years 2001 and 2005. Okay, so now we have our um, table and we've got our graphs, so we're ready to um, put them into our research document. So if I go up to the top of the page again and I select my table there, 
and select copy. I can then move to pages in my existing document. I can select the row. And when I double tap there, the menu will come up and that will allow me to paste. So now I have my table in there and I can tap on the top the same as I did in numbers um, and I can resize my columns. So you can see now I'm changing those columns um, there to make sure that they fit nicely um, within my page and make sure that my page layout um, is well within the A4. After this, I'm going to go back again to numbers to find my uh, graph. So I'll grab, select my graph, just tap it once, select copy again, then go back to pages, again double tap, paste, and I've now got my nice graph there. So again, this can be, if you tap and hold, you can move your little legend over.